Dear ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's very nice to see all you together this early morning. So for, uh, sorry for all this starting this morning, but we really, we really have very tough and intensive program today. This is not time for gloom. There is reason to be cheerful. The outlook for Ukraine is better than for many years. The World Bank is predicting growth for the second year running, following a 20% increase in fixed investment in 2016. Growing levels of investment will contribute to the future prosperity of Ukraine. Growing confidence means our bond yields have fallen dramatically, non-residents have been increasing their purchase of debt, and the, our government has completed its first uh, sovereign bond issue since 2014. Markets have realized that the worst fears following the invasion have been overdone in the wake of political reform and our renewed determination to trade with the rest of the world. None of these achievements have been easy in the world of strife. Some of the biggest challenges of our time are sitting on the doorstep of global leaders. They are demanding solutions and not often finding them. But people are now starting the, to rediscover the positive. Now the evidence of recovery is so strong. We are on the road of recovery. And norma normality and prosperity can be seen on the horizon. I mean this in terms of numbers and from my experience. Many of you will notice the changes in Kyiv and Dessa and all over the Ukraine. The future of Ukraine is in the hands of its people, its politicians and its institutions. We must work together to ensure a prosperity, prosperous future free from corruption and economically self-sufficient. Over the next two days, our line up uh, honored speakers and panelists will provide a unique insights on the challenges that need to be overcome and identify the opportunities that need to be exploded. I wish you a pleasant stay in Odessa. Ignore the naysayers, if you please. Enjoy the conference. Thank you very much.